Ну да, это на Yes, it should be here, right? Anton, look at us. Please look at us. Thank you. Samantha. Samantha. Thank you. We're here at our Soyuz TMA-15M uh, at the fit check to make sure that all the equipment on the inside is uh, where we expect it, to make sure we know where everything is. And the next time that we're going to be in the vehicle, we'll be in our spacesuits getting ready for launch. And so we just need to know to make sure that we understand where everything is and we can find all the equipment that we need to find. All right, everybody's ready. Well, everything is pretty much ready for launch into space. And we checked all our personal items, cargo items that we're going to be bringing with us to the station. Everything's fine. Samantha, what do you think about the Soyuz? Well, we did check everything check where the cargo items are and some other things that we might need on our way to the station. And it's very important that we know where everything is located during the flight of the Soyuz. Uh, it looks great. It's amazing to think that we're going to be in space, in that spacecraft, in just a few days. Uh, the designers and instructors and the technicians have done a great job getting it ready, and I can't wait to fly into space in it. Anton, could you compare Soyuz TMA-22 and then Soyuz 15M? What is the difference? Not much. I would say that the software has changed, but inside the hardware of the vehicle is pretty much the same. Well, it's very functional. Well, I would say that it became much simpler, more automatic in a way. And what would be the indicator of zero G for you? We took a little toy from uh, the uh, from one of the cartoons. It's called the Cold Heart. It's uh, a choice of my younger daughter, Kira, who is eight years old. And the toy is going through uh, all the tests and disinfection. So we're going to take it with us into the vehicle. So what is it going to be, um, what are you going to take uh, with you to celebrate the new year? Maybe a little snowman. Thank you. Thank you. Could you look up? Oleg, do you want us to stand here? Yes. Right place. <laughs> well, yesterday we had a number of vet veteran uh, space explorers who are preparing your vehicle and who were preparing the vehicles for Yuri uh, Gagarin. And since um, we have pictures since those days, I can show them to you. Mm -hmm.
You probably know already. I can actually show you how the helmet works and how you can open it. Look at that. All right, be careful. So if the body temperature of the crew member increased even by one degree, the visor and the helmet would automatically snap close. Yeah, just don't put your finger in there. That's it. I won't show again. So we are following our old tradition of taking pictures together for the crew members. And here is the present. Have a look. These are you guys. We made it for you. Alexander Gerst. Well, you can choose any place you like. Well, we have Reed Wiseman, Alexander Gerst, maybe here. Thank you, Samantha. Thank you. And here is the flag that is going to become a part of the items in our museum. So we wanted to say a big thank you for signing the flag for us. Hey, everything, everything is just falls together. Everything's perfect.